everyone, along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Welcome to the Banker's Life Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. It's an NBA Thursday night on ESPN and EA Sports as we get set for the third meeting of the season between the Indiana Pacers and the L.A. Clippers. As this one gets underway, who might they need to be careful with against Indiana tonight, Jeff? Unless you're a hardcore fan, you may not realize just what a big-time game Thaddeus Young brings to the table every night. This is a guy who plays a speed game. He's a runner, he's a jumper, he's an attacker, and he's an improved jump shooter. This guy can score in bunches, he can do it at As a starter or off the bench, he is just a straight out basketball player. They tip it and get the turnover. The Pacers, coming off a tough loss in their previous game against Cleveland, they struggled with their perimeter defense. So many easy three-pointers. Seriously, Mike, what's up with these guys? They didn't close hard in the three-point line? What is up? That's how they lost. Guard the three every night. Ariza's first shot of the night won't go. Still plenty of time, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Whatever they've got planned, it'll have to be quick. Leonard fires with two on the clock from downtown. Moves around the defender. Off the penetration to the basket. Pretty banker. You gotta get your guys down the floor in transition quicker than they can get back. If you can rebound it and then get it up the floor, you're going to have numbers to exploit the basket opportunities. Attack the rim. Don't settle for jumpers. Finish strong. Nice move into the paint. Blocked. Young against Lynn. Walker. Strong rebound by George. To Leonard. Shot clock says 12. Oh, he beats the defender. Lynn fires away from downtown. Won't go from three-point range. To Walker. Oh, he shoots it. Rebounded by Jordan. To Leonard. He curls strong at the rim. Oh, that's just raw athleticism right there. Blow by, goes up, finishes with a hard dunk. To Young. Screen set nicely. Nice fake. Walker on the drive, lays it up and gets the roll. No wasted activity right there. Took it straight to the rim and finished the layup. To Parker. Leonard against Ariza. Goes to the pull-up. Young the rebound. To Young. Ball knocked out of his hands. It's out of bounds. It'll be Pacers ball. The Pacers get the inbound in here. Shot clock down at 12 seconds remaining. Bang! Kemba Walker with five points and one rebound. Hey, Jeff, Kemba Walker was a great college player. He's starting to become a great NBA player. He is so hard to handle now in all of the Hornets pick and roll actions because you can't go under the screen anymore. He's too good a shooter. He's really improved that area of his game. So Kemba Walker is so dynamic uh, so quick, he's very hard to keep out of the paint. To Walker. Curls in, puts it up. Oh, he tried to bank it. Another good quality attempt at the basket. Unfortunately, they missed it. Parker on the drive. Gets it up for two. 
In and out. And Trevor Ariza with a rebound. Great contest on that shot, Mike. He had the shot timed perfectly to challenge and force the miss. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. Tries to adjust the shot. Walker misses another one. Tremendous job making it difficult to get to the basket. Off the mark from downtown. George is trying for position in the paint. Lynn. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. Looking to curl in to the rim. Unable to flip it in. Hey, you're in a close game. You better guard like your life depended on it. And they did right there contesting that shot. To Young. The shot clock shows 10 seconds left. Ooh, misses the inside shot. That's good defense right there. Good contest, finishing their defense strong. To Lynn. Puts it up. Deep corner shot. In and out. And that was great defense to force that miss. He was right up in the shooter's face. Here's the screen to Young. Fires again. And Thaddeus Young with a two-pointer. He's averaging 10 points per game this season. The mid-range game has disappeared for the most part in basketball today. It's nice to see good execution resulting in the mid-range jump shot. Lynn's using the screen, looking to get free. To Parker, fires from three-point range. And they miss another one. Haven't been able to score now in over three minutes. Hard to make contested shots against that good a defense right there. Very well defended. It's good. He's shooting 44% on the season from the field. The pick and roll is difficult to defend, particularly if the screener's man doesn't either switch or jump out and show to redirect the ball handler. The ball handler was able to just come off. His man was fighting hard, but that's just not good enough defense. Leads to an open jump shot as the defender scrambles to get back in front. Read the play perfectly for the steal. To the rim. Can't connect from close range. No paint game, no winning. You've got to get the ball at the basket, and then you've got to finish when you get it there. To Walker. Well, they saw it. A reach in called against Lynn. And we have a substitution being made. Oh, excellent screen. Nice fake, makes the defense look silly. Walker's attempt off the glass won't go. Getting the ball to the rim is so important to winning basketball. Great offense, great look, just couldn't knock it in. 11 seconds remaining on the 24. Oh, nice pull-up jumper. Quick rebound by Young. Walker from beyond the arc. And Kemba Walker with the jumper. A three-pointer. And Doc Rivers calls a timeout. They're trying to slow down the opposition's momentum. I think this is just misplaced confidence in their team to wait to call this timeout. They waited until they were now behind to call the timeout instead of trying to break this run, this momentum, earlier by calling the timeout when they were ahead.
coach going to make some changes and switch up. The matchups. To Batum. Looks to the post. That's a three pointer. The defense nowhere near him. Young. Goes to the goal. Batum the rebound. Batum's using the screen, trying to get free. Nobody near him, takes the three, and Nikola Batum with the jumper, puts it in. You give this man time to set his feet, he's gonna knock the three-point in time and time again. Walker's looking to get free off the screen. And he curls in for two, misses at the rim. To the basket, flips it up, puts it in off the glass on a nice feed from Al Jefferson. Good poise, good balance, great finish in the paint against quality defense. Screen set nicely from beyond the arc. Oh, in and out. On the follow, quick putback, doesn't get the roll. To Jefferson. Nice adjustment. Banks it in for two. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. To Batum. 11 seconds now on the shot clock. Gets it off. That's a two pointer. And J.R. Smith with the nice look sinks it. Young. Walker's trying to get free off the pick. Still plenty of time. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Walker on the drive. Time is not on their side. What will they do? Tried to bag it. No good. Hey, you got to finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket. You got to put the ball in the hole. Create some space with that step back. Smith's three-point shot won't go. Couldn't have played that shot any better. Made it a much more difficult shot than if it was an open look. To the basket, count it, and the foul. And an opportunity for the traditional three-point play. One free throw to come. Absorbs the contact, finishes the shot, and now works his way to the free throw line. the free throw three-point play complete in a rough stretch let's see if they can break themselves out of it right now to Smith shot clock says 12 oh the off-balance shot nice box out by Jefferson Help defense there with the switch. Walker from downtown in the corner. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. In the paint, can't get it to go from close range. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. 
Nice pass. Fires for two. The Pacers, impressive putback. What timing. Good defense translates into good offense. Here, secure the rebound, finish your defensive possession, and then get out and go. Take the ball to the basket. Get an easy opportunity. Reward your hard work on defense. Quick move. Looking to go end to end. Walker's shot blocked. On the run with the floater. Just won't go from point blank range. Has no place to go. The heel puts it up for two. Heel misfires again. And the first quarter complete. The Clippers down by 13. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN after this short break. As we begin the second quarter, a good start to this one in what really is a must win for them. They need a good performance, and they did it in the first period. Exactly. As Yogi Berra once said, it gets late early, and that's what's happened in this game. They established themselves right off the bat. He shoots, and Al Jefferson with his sixth rebound. That's become a familiar sight, watching him grab rebound after rebound. He's definitely putting in the work. To Batum, gets in the paint. To the rim, flips that one in. It's not enough just to beat your man off the dribble. You've got to finish the play with strength at the rim. It's taking a moment here, slowing things down a bit. Eight seconds remaining on the shot clock. You're going to have to be quick with this shot. Unable to flip it in. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look. He just missed it. Hit in the act of shooting. He'll go to the line for two. I really like this play right here. You're a great free throw shooter. Draw the contact and get two freebies. And he hits the first free throw. And gets both points from the line. Nice little dump off. Ariza finds the wide open look for three. And Trevor Ariza with a nice look from downtown. Three ball, corner pocket. Leonard's looking for the screen to get himself open. Oh, shakes him there. Leonard's shot swatted away. And he hasn't wasted any time in getting his blocks onto the stat sheet. What a start to this game. Knocks down the three-pointer. Indiana's shooting 37% from downtown on the season. These guys are really starting to look good with this three-point shooting, making things happen from long range and stretching the floor. Ooh, misses the inside shot. Los Angeles is in need of a big-time defensive stop here. Curling in, fires away for two. Can't connect from close range. And they bring it up. Need to stop the bleeding here. Leonard on the drive. For two, Leonard misses again. Ariza's using the screen, looking to get free. Turner, Turner's backing down in the low post. Turner for two, gets it to go. And L.A. calls a badly needed timeout. They've got to come up with something. They can't stop anyone.
And looks like both teams are making substitutions. Three minutes gone by in the second. Los Angeles down by 20. Ball comes loose. Defense nearly grabbed it. And now he moves around the defender. Oh, a ferocious dunk. Drive, drive, drive. That's the only chance you have of getting back into this game. To Ariza. Oh, quick move, gets inside. Trying to work it down low. Jefferson for two, misses at the rim. To George. Fires away for two. Nice touch at the basket. Paul George, Chef, has got to rank up there for you as one of the better two-way players in the game. I cannot believe all the great forwards in the last two years, these two-way forwards that have changed teams. Kevin Durant, Jimmy Butler, and now Paul George. It's incredible to watch because these guys impact the game at both ends of the floor. To Leonard. Oh, excellent screen. Puts it up. Strong rebound for another possession. And DeAndre Jordan with the tip for two. Pound the offensive board. Get extra possessions. Great job in the pursuit of the basketball and then finishing at the rim. It's a loose ball. There's a steal. The pass is deflected and they get the turnover. Gets to the rim. Oh, he tried to put it in off the glass. Good job offensively pushing the ball, creating a transition opportunity at the basket. But if you miss those opportunities, it's going to be hard to come back and win this game. Ariza against Leonard. Oh, there's the reach in. The referee blows the whistle. And a substitution being made. Thaddeus Young comes in for Al Jefferson. The Pacers get to inbound. And the defense switches to Young. Three-point attempt. The long-range jumper is off the mark. To Leonard. From deep in the corner, Young the rebound. L.A. is definitely needing a big-time defensive play on this possession. Turner. And he kicks it out to Young. Ariza against Leonard at the rim. Puts it in on a straight drive down the middle. This speed is hard to guard. Speed kills. Beats his man off the dribble and then finishes right at the basket. Can't get it to go from close range. Closing out defensively is the most important aspect of team defense. Great contest. Beats his man. To Young. We're down to nine seconds on the shot clock. Pretty fake. Fools the defense. Let's it go. Knocks it down. A two-pointer. As they bring it up, desperate for a score. Leonard setting it up. The shot clock down at 12 seconds remaining. Moves around the defender. Oh, he slams it through. Keep putting heat on their defense with solid two-man game execution. Great screen. Good roll to the rim, be ready to catch it, and then finish quickly before the rotation can come across the lane. Into the paint. Leonard fires away. Leonard can't get that one to go either. Turner. Gets it and quickly shoots that three. Bang! From downtown. Indiana's seven for 11 from long range. They haven't wasted any time 
in establishing an offense based around ball movement and player movement, and the results speak for themselves. To Leonard. Fires away with the clock winding down. Terrible shot. And they just can't seem to get locked in from distance. There's been too many misses on wide open opportunities. To Parker. Swats that away. Blows past his man. Slams it home for two. How can you call yourself an NBA player and team and give up these type of easy dunks? Leonard's using the screen, trying to get free. Nine left on the shot clock. Steps back for the jumper. It's good. A two-pointer. Los Angeles is down by 19. And they call timeout. Terrific move. Terrific footwork on the step back right there. like the coach is going to make some changes. Yep, picking up some substitutions. Screen set nicely. That was one brutal screen and no whistle at all. Got it. Got it. Jordan. We're down to nine seconds on the shot clock. He curls inside, off the glass, won't go. They've done a good job getting the ball into the paint, but unfortunately, they just haven't converted at the basket. Turner, shot is blocked. Jordan with a posterizing slam in his face. The power and force of that dunk was off the charts. Young. Still plenty of time, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Young's working down low in the post. Young for two, puts it up. Rebound corralled by George. He tries to step back, and Paul George with a nice look from three-point range. He's got 10 points thus far. Oh, that's a thing of beauty right there. Look at that balance, arc, and follow through. Indiana's done some nice things in this game so far. What's impressed you the most, Jeff? Well, Mike, everything looks great when you shoot the ball like they have. Yeah, there's some problems in their game, but they're all masked and camouflaged because of the great jump shooting. Jordan. Tries to go for back-to-back -back threes here. George hits again, back-to-back -back threes. Now that's perfect right there. You're watching a great shooter, like a great artist, go to work, beautiful form, finish and follow through. Curls in, and it's stolen by Jordan. Leonard fires. Leonard misses another one. To Young. Ball comes loose. Stolen by Leonard. Throws it down. That's a 12-2 run for the Clippers. Perfect entry pass. Back in his way down in the post. Young fires away for two. Young misfires again. George on the drive, Warren the rebound. To Young. Turner's looking to get free off the screen. Turner. Hey, 
looking to curl in, getting to the basket, a pretty Euro step. LA's already got themselves in a pretty big hole, and their chances of a win are definitely not looking good. George. And he curls in for the layup. George misses again. And that'll do it. First half comes to an end. The Clippers down by 13. Stay tuned for halftime. We'll be back with more ESPN on EA Sports after the break. by yours truly, Jalen Rose. The Pacers will start the second half with a decent lead. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Indiana Pacers. The Clippers have dug themselves a bit of a hole after two quarters. They've been scrapped, doing their best to be competitive. We'll see if their efforts are more rewarded in the second half. Have a look at the leading scores for the Los Angeles Clippers. Game track. Three-point shooting. The Indiana Pacers clearly have a game plan that's centered around the three ball. Here at the half, there's no need to adjust offensively. They should just keep raining threes. Player of the half. Kimball Walker has already put together a pretty nice highlight reel for himself, and that's just after one half of basketball. He did a lot of scoring, and it probably won't stop anytime soon. Who was cold? No one wants to be picked for this segment, but he couldn't avoid it. Maybe he'll turn things around in the second half. Here we go with the top three plays. Number two. Number one. Mike and Jeff are ready to get started, so we send it back to them now. 